from one of the loudest venues in the NFL. There's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Los Angeles Chargers and the Kansas City Chiefs. Certainly the game of the weekend, maybe the game of the year, the battle of the unbeatens as we get underway. Here's White. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. 33 yard line. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 16 yards on the game's first play and a quick first down. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. Well, that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. Second and 11. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. A gain of 13. It's a first down. First so from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 38. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. That catch good for only a couple. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, You've got to find a way to hold them under 20, because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. 15 yards on the play, first down. Safety Troy Apke. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. And a solid job using his legs. 16 yards and a first down on the keeper. From the two, here's first and goal. And now some motion before the snap. And this will be our first penalty of the night's proceedings. So from the two, now they move back to the seven-yard line. First and goal. Play action fake. They'll look to throw. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. The linebacker, C.J. Mosley, there in coverage. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams... Th he rifles one that's intercepted. Read it well, and it's picked.
Accelerating and off he goes. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a Charger TD. Coaches preach all the time about opportunities and taking advantage of them, and he did exactly that. I used to have the coach told us all the time, a lost opportunity is never regained. Well, no regrets here. He picked that one off and took it to the house. Extra point, a bit of an adventure, but it does make it through, and it's now a 7-0 game. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. At their own 22-yard line. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And following the pick six, and they have decent field position in throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, Let's just take care of the football a little bit better. It got his man complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Give him 30 yards there. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. They run on first down as they get about three. Second and seven forthcoming. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets to me. And he's going to go down. Back near midfield at the 49. Well, the pass rush has been a real strength of late. They know how to get after the quarterback. Absolutely. Four sacks last week. That's their first one here. Anything in particular you've seen from them or on film? I think that they're winning athletically up front, winning those one-on-one -on -one battles. But also, when the offensive line wants to keep everyone in and mass protect, they know how to scheme their way back to the quarterback as well. An extra defensive back on the field for the Chargers now on third down. They'll try the option on third down. And they'll get this across midfield, but not nearly close to a first down as he stopped at the 48. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. On fourth down, here's Jamie <laughs> Gillen on to punt. Formation. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. At their own 20-yard line. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. From the gun, it's Hurts. And that will be incomplete. They couldn't oh, no. hook up on what's going to be the final play of this first quarter. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. They had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here, third and ten. from the gun, it's Hurts. 
He's got Evans. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. And the Chargers. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds him for the first down. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. So much for the best laid plans and best designed plays. That was good coverage along the sidelines. No place for that one to get in there. It sails incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. This one complete to Curtis Samuel. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Los Angeles. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 30-yard line. Throwing his hurts. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. A wise move there. Looked like nobody open. Now second down. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Going up top. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions. Third down here in 10, but you're still in field goal range. And that's the thing to keep in mind. They're in field goal range. So now you don't take any unnecessary risks, but you try and find a way to get back to what you were doing earlier in the drive in order to finish this one off. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and 10. He can run for it, and he will. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line well short of the first down marker. The keeper good for only four, and that's going to lead to a fourth down. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts. Take this nigga out. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Now Brett Maher for the field goal try. The wind is at his back here in the second quarter. The kick by Maher is good. And the lead moves to 10 zip. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays, and the net result, three points. Take your disappointment and put it aside. Nine plays, yeah, they want to end up in the end zone with a touchdown. I get that. But sometimes those nine-play drives pay dividends later with another nine-play drive that culminates in a touchdown when they wear down a defense. The Chiefs take over first and 10 at their own 22-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And the results for them have not been strong to this point. Two drives have ended in a turnover and then a punt. So would it be too snarky for me to say that they've shown improvement? Because you had two, two drives with turnovers. Now they punted it away, so at least they didn't turn it over. So that's good, right? You're going to get some angry users reaching out to you on social media. Well, I don't mean to be. I was actually looking for the positive. Silver lining, you know. They run left side. And not much 
catch there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. The ball carrier. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. An extra cornerback now in the game for the Chargers here on third. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts. This time on third down. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. Fielded at the 20. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. A good return there, 17 yards. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The Charger drive about to get going. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had a field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> not one that I've ever met. scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10 play action here's Hertz and that'll be incomplete took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in he couldn't hang on third down and partner to me that one was all about timing if he's there too early it's going to be a pass interference call if he's too late it's a completed pass he was Johnny on the spot on that one. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Hurts to throw. Flush to his right. And what the? Incomplete. Oh my that was an interesting God. look there because as soon as he oh got outside God, the pocket, man. I thought he was going to take off and run on, for yardage. But what deep, often bro. happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them, and I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis, or do you prefer ping pong, you know, back and forth like that? But that definitely was excellent, wasn't it? KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. Soul searching now? I would say so. And they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on the field a lot more than normal, put them in some tough spots. But what's the old adage? When you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. I know for us it's fun, and it's not so much fun for the rookie receivers when we see them coming into the league and we're going to training camps. You see them working on getting two feet down instead of one. But the best ones train in college 
trying to get two down instead of one, so the transition's a little bit less. In this case, though, wasn't able to complete it anyway. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Open man, it's Allen. And he gets it to the 30 when it's all said and done. Allen's first catch, good for a first down. That catch in his career is number 662, and that's significant because it ties him with Hall of Famer Ozzie Newsome. Yeah, who was a wide receiver in Alabama before he transitioned in the NFL, and we're seeing similar attributes here because the ability to play inside, outside, flex out, he can catch it from any position and turn it into a big play. Now well, he's got his eyes on 700. Second and two. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. A reminder coming up just a few minutes from now, we'll send you to Jonathan Coachman and our crew in Orlando. Coach will have a look back at some of the stats and scores from yesterday's action. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Three yards the game there, second down. And that's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, short tackle. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. Boy, an effective play there, getting their wideouts involved in the run game. And what they're always hoping on that type of a play, that they can get to the end of the line and have a chance to turn it upfield as he did there. That means they controlled the blocking and took care of the defensive end of the outside linebacker to give him that lane. And I guess I need to clarify, I said getting their wideouts involved in the run game, but of course that was actually a pass as he popped it forward. Four yards on the pickup. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. 14 yards that time and a first down on the keeper. I'll tell you, he got away with it there, pops up okay, but got to be careful in the running game. You certainly do, and these young quarterbacks, these rookies, I remember talking to Carson Wentz. And he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. It's the quarterback scoring on the two-yard keeper. And the Chiefs are able to get this back within a touchdown. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. Extra point right down the middle, and that'll cut it to three at 10-7. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. Pulls it in at the 13. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. At their own 26-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. You're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you've got the lead. It's definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. 
but at the same time, I don't like the odds. I don't like where they are in the field. Got the lead. They've done well in the first half. Don't mess it up and go into halftime looking at each other wondering what if. A battle for it and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 19. And a big turnover there as his guys How will get the football that back. First Curtis 99. How fast is that throw that time. Yeah, It looked like he tried to put a this little shit. too much air under this one, and it turned into a floater. And defensively, this is a dream. He could have fair caught that one. That was way too easy. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Well, partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. Yeah, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. And he can't hang on to it, and the screen never got started. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. A big throw. play there. 81 yards. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. If you didn't know it, it won't surprise you to find out that this team leads the league in scoring. They've been a quick strike team all season long. There's another example. They did it again. This offensive coordinator, right now you can write his ticket towards being a head coach. He's advanced in the ways of offense. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Pulls it in at the 13. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Take over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Charger drive about to get going. You've got less than 30 seconds left here in the half. You're well on your own side of the field. What are we doing here, Coach Davis? Well, I'm trying something. I'm first down. And it's something that's safe. It's something that's been done many times. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 39. Patrick Peterson. The first down pass. Intercepted. They'll take over first. Suddenly it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. And now here's a carry heading left. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. A great effort there in the final seconds of the first half. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. And that's a lead that excites the team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Yeah, able to extend that lead, and you always say it. That can totally change the complexion of half number two. Yeah, it changes your morale, changes your outlook. But even before that, let's see if they decide to kind of squib kick or what they're going to do on the kickoff, because you don't want to give up a big play right before the half ends. Good point. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee, and they'll bring the football out to the 25.
The Charger drive about to get going. Time here for likely one play, then off to the locker room, and they're going to have some adjustments to make. They certainly will, and I think a lot of people are thinking to themselves, all right, take the knee, get out of here, regroup. But how will the head coach and his staff approach halftime? Will it be angry? Will it be clinical? Will it be calm? Will they just let it all out? Who knows? I'd love to be a fly on the wall for this one, though. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. They'll throw now on the final play. And a little floater there, but it'll wind up incomplete, falling to the ground. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. <laughs> As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Ridiculous. The Chargers going to get the football first here in this second half, and they trail as we get back underway. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. The Charger drive about to get going. They'll look to make some inroads here, trailing 21 to 10 as they come up on a first and 10. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run-pass option. You get the sense the next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. He lost four there, and it's third down. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half, and that trend is continuing here. Just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. Three. Well, coming into this one, we expected that this offense would have trouble with this defense. And that's exactly the way that this game has gone. Pressure in his face. Coverage downfield has been tight. That led to another incompletion. This defense, they're exactly who we thought they were coming into this one. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. And that'll be incomplete. Allen, the intended receiver, and it's third down. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. <sighs> so after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. On play action, they'll throw. He's got it. The tight end, Allen. And they'll get him down at the 34, and he's going to be short of the first by a few yards. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. They're going to try and throw. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off for the first down. The 44 yard line. <laughs> Off 
off the play fake. He'll look to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. So from Charger territory now. Here's a first and 10 at the 36. Back to throw again. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. The first down screen pass, good for five. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. We got four. We got four. Hey, left three, left three. And they'll run. Close to a first down at the Chargers 22. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because if you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. It'll be a pickup of five on the keeper. It's second down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Hands it off out of the gun. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. Goal at the one yard line. And that he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. It's their quarterback. His second touchdown of the night. And the Chiefs add on to their lead. Partner, they had a good lead as they went in at the half, and they came out here in the second half and found a way to extend it. I love their consistency. Don't worry about what they said at halftime. This seemed like a team that was ready to play 60 minutes, and while this game is far from over, I love their approach. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Takes this about five yards deep. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. 26 yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone... Oh, wide open, complete! And he makes it all the way down to the 13-yard line. It's a big one there for the Chargers. And even 60 yards from the 13 now, they work on first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Yeah. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked up by Josh Jones. And a terrific return he as he'll take it up past the 35. That was just one of those interceptions from our accurate. perspective here. We got a good view at the 50-yard line, yeah, mid-level. The quarterback and receiver were not on the same page. Just by his reaction, I'm talking about the quarterback, he expected something different from his receiver, whether he expected him to break in, out, deeper, shorter. They'll determine that on the sideline. But bottom line, you can see that he thought he'd be in a different spot, except the defender was not his intended target. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. At the 49-yard line. Yeah, this is good. Both superstar coming back. Y'all know the idiots. They'll look to throw now on first down. Oh, it's a screen pass. Compete. That's complete. And he'll go down, and that will do it. 
for the third quarter of action. We're back now in KC. It's the Chiefs with the lead and the football here as we get set for quarter number four. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. And here's a handoff out of the gun. Yeah, he's able to push his way forward somehow for a gain of about two yards. Second down now. Charles, you'd said the magic number was probably right around 20 for this defense because they're facing one of the top five offenses in the league in terms of points scored. They've had their moments, but this offense, just a little too good, isn't it? They really are because no matter what you do to make an adjustment on defense, they've had an answer for it. Man, now what the fuck? On second down, and that's complete. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs oh, touchdown. Shit, man. That was a pick. Good game, bro. He has really Let's settled see in throwing the football, and that touchdown here in the fourth quarter gives him a pretty game. comfortable cushion. He may be a rookie, but he's playing like fourth quarter, and the QB is easy. How about this guy? Youngster, not worried about anything, just cutting it loose and having fun. <clears throat> Point after, right down the middle. And they open the lead up now to 25. Taken about seven yards deep. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. At their own 18-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And their four-game win streak very much in jeopardy as they go to work here late with a first and ten. He's going to float this one deep Look right side. Shit. Look at this shit. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. They'll probably spend a little extra time dissecting That's what the y'all done did this to this nigga team. Part of their plan was to hit him over the top of the deep ball. They've been unsuccessful all night. He, he, ain't got, he, can, he can play this shit all night. Man to man cover. Princeton niggas. Pass here now is second Shit, and crazy. ten. Mark Twain, Mark Twain, Mark Twain. We all 19 tight. 19 tight. There go Mark Twain, Mark Twain, Mark Twain. Hurts. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Now they face the third trading, and ten when, after back-to-back -back incompletions. Let them get out of them down. Goofy as hell. Hurt sets up to throw it. And yeah, that will be incomplete. That's okay, an excellent job for right it. there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to get for it, bro. started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. Yeah, They're I know. I know. Go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Push him back. Push him back. They goaded this nigga team. That's why I said last year, I'm just we just gonna have to ride it out. Boogie gonna be in the Super Bowl damn near every year until it's time to pay these Gotta niggas. Try it here. He's back to throw, and he comes back with one complete, and he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Maybe I need no to reason not to try it there. And they do indeed convert on fourth. He ain't beating that nigga deep. Curtis Samuel, 99 X Factor, he still can't get deep. I said, wow, to do first down hurts. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line. Another connection between the, the yeah. two. This one good for 12 and a first down. The Chargers first so signs down. of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. From the gun, it's hurts. That's complete to his running back, Evans. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A well-executed 22-yard gain. Chargers. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Tighten up. 
Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Oh, he's going to let oh, this go for the end zone. <laughs> and this is going to be intercepted. He's beating them niggas deep. A great read, and it's picked off. And a terrific return as he'll take it up he's past grand, the man. 35. But just another reason to celebrate there on the defensive side with the interception, and this is a game that they clearly have firmly in their grasp. They have a lot of handshakes, a lot of hugs, a lot of smiles. It's been their day. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 36-yard line. And a six-yard game gets them right around the 43. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Come on with it. Second and four. He's got the hook up here on the comebacker, complete. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Now this time he'll look to throw. There goes a deep ball in zone. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. So very close to a turnover there in uh, the end zone. Uh, turn it it to Charles, turn thinking it. back to what you said in the first quarter, the part of the magic on. elixir Super for a road victory for these underdogs was going to be winning Super the turnover best. battle. Well, they only have one right now. Look at the scoreboard. Yeah, not exactly playing to the form that I subscribed, right? When you talk about winning that turnover battle, that evens things out, especially for a road team. Team, especially for a team that's an underdog. Man, he stick that bitch, be man. Down by the face mask. Here come the flags. The this fuck? is going to get him a first down. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. What no, the in these fuck, types of man. situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration, not a good play. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense. First and ten. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Speed is the name of the game when it comes to RPOs. And sometimes you can be a little too quick, thus inaccurate, incomplete. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Let's make these babies cry all the way back home. We just got to get better, Chargers. Let's make these babies cry. Now this one to his running back out of the right field. Shit, and he takes game, this man. into the end zone. A great play there. His second touchdown on the season. As his guys continue to put this one out of reach. Even though they've got this big advantage, Charles, they are not taking their foot off the gas pedal right now. Well, I think what we're seeing is the result of all their great preparation and great grind, practice yo. time during the week. And even though Bam it seems like this is a great game, chance so to get pull people back game. and maybe, you know, not try and score a few more times, they don't want to do that. I think they're enjoying what they're seeing, the collective effort, and they want to play it all the way out. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. At their own 20-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the ending, the interception. But they did put together kind of Charles a nice sustained yeah. drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two. Right? Nah, I would have kept that QB. I would have kept him. It does him no good to go back and say, well, you know, hell, he was a normal. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get and I, I, from right my right understanding, we weren't giving out no damn traits. Look at Kenny Ray last. Second gonna and say ten. I gave out everybody traits. Well of course Booker gonna say, hey, take that trade off of whatever he put it on and could you put it on my quarterback instead? I can't say no. <laughs> nigga, this nigga, man, that shit wow, but that shit is wow. Throwing his hurts. Flushed out right. 
And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. And defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw. And they're under 200 yards passing for the game. So they've done their job on that team, side brother. of the ball. Yeah, recently, team, I was actually bro. working a game where a quarterback had a He might have the best team. Games without a 200 yard game. The best team we done seen in this league. And the Chiefs are going to get him. Chase Young in there to get him. And on the season now, that is nine With Chase two. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. My boys ain't ready for these niggas here. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. I don't know. My niggas ain't getting any traits like they supposed to. We'll see, though. Maybe I need to start running the ball more to hurry up and get this old line right. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. You can't even beat that nigga with an up and under. What? This is sad. And they will not be able to hook up there. It's incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time <clears throat> remaining. And the Chiefs will have the football back in excellent field position. Good game, Doc. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. A seven-yard pickup. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. The running back. Give him a yard on the run there, and that's going to set up a third down and two. It's a gain of a yard. Brings up third down and two. Everybody, this is, this is stupid. Man. They'll go to the air here on third and two. And he's going to be dropped back at the 15 yard line. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. They'll set up to throw. And they're going to try the screen. It's complete. And he's not even going to come close. A big loss in the wrong direction on fourth down. So we were looking at each other up here in the booth when they went for that, saying, oh, wow. Talk about trying to add insult to injury. Some teams yeah, are just like that. You know, some philosophies, shit. some coaches are like, look. We played against this nigga. Teams that done beat him run the ball. The situation. Ask some more run it. plays to my playbook. And they're also the same coaches as so a It's definitely a way you can beat his ass right now. Pass and ain't the way to go, though, for sure. Now they try the right side here. And not much room there, so he'll get it up only to about the Ask 21. The play the play play Chargers going to signal right for the first of their timeouts as they get it with 16 seconds remaining right on now. the clock. Secondary wise. Second and nine now from the 21. I can't believe they let you play. I can't believe they even let you play. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. Okay. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage. And now third and 11 coming up. A big offensive explosion help leading them to victory.
GG. Boy. Okay, what does linebackers look like? Trash and a bitch. <laughs> Got Isaiah, but that's it. Bite that bullet and trade for some old niggas. I ain't finna be losing to this nigga. This three straight games tour. Fuck that. I ain't. I'm finna have to put some niggas on the market to get some old linemen or something. Let me see. Who trying to give up some old old linemen? This nigga. I got a young old lineman, send me him. That nigga that barely play. Mm, Boosie, I know I can put Boosie to trade with me. What time is Boosie to trade with me? Send me this nigga. I'll send you a young old lineman, superstar nigga, and a first round pick. Send me this nigga, Tori. You don't need this old lad nigga no more. Uh, let me see. Oh, that's it for the left tackle. I need some old vets on this bit. Zach Martin, what's up? Send Zach Martin, poo. <laughs> Gotta do something. This nigga done beat me three straight times. Them hoes ain't been close either. <laughs> That beat my bitch at three straight. None of them hoes were close. Nah, this nigga, that's his only line, man. Nigga look like his ass too. Trent Brown looking at ass, nigga D-Rock. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Anybody want Curtis Samuel for some for some linemen, bitch? <laughs> hey, I'm gonna go to the store. Fuck this whole ass shit. I need to go buy some squares. This nigga here. He got me in my head like a bitch. I need to smoke. I know, fool. That nigga there, man. Save, man. Nigga there is a different breed, man. Especially when niggas helped him get his team so goddamn cold. I sent him, bitch. What's up? I sent him. Send, send me a lineman. Send me two linemen, nigga. You got too many linemen. 